So I'll have a brief look at ASPIN following their full year results for FY22. Uh, just starting off with the executive summary, so we have a hold rating on the stock. In terms of our thesis, we see that uh, growth is limited on the counter, given that we're expecting a growth of around 3.5%. Uh, in terms of revenue, EBIT growing at around 4.1%, and a slight uh, margin contraction as per guidance from management. Uh, in terms of um, the short-term uh, growth catalyst going forward, the expectation is that the, the in-house production of uh, COVID vaccines will actually um, lead in, in terms of a growth going forward. But as we look at the stock from, I uh, say, 10 years back to now, uh, it's clear that they haven't ha had a clear mode. And this is solely because they actually focused on generics as opposed to originator drugs, and that has sort of um, made the company struggle in terms of uh, returns, but also just the income statement, uh, keeping their margins constant. Uh, in terms of valuation, the company is screening as cheap, uh, given that on a forward uh, P basis, it's trading at a discount of around 30%. Um, however, the dividend yield uh, isn't attractive, it's at around 2.5%. But it's somewhat better than the historical average, but still below the key averages. In terms of our um, intrinsic value, uh, we're seeing a limited potential upside of around 6.6%. Uh, again, speaking to the mode, that's not clear. Uh, it's also evident in the value creation spread, which is right over work. Um, it's actually been below the one times, uh, which means the company has actually been destroying value over the last. 10 years. So on that basis, then we have a hold a rating on the counter and we also highlight uh, downside risks. So we know they have struggled in terms of M&As. Um, most of their M&As have been unsuccessful um, and they've led to the high debt that we saw historically in the company and them having to sell out of those businesses shortly after they've had them. So the impact of it in terms of your returns. So. Given that you load companies fast and you and they don't create value for the company, it's actually depressed the ROIC. Um, meanwhile, the work has been going up. So that's why we see that decline in terms of the value creation spread. Also, right now, management has been focusing on cost savings. Um, we saw that even in the recent results, um, and that's why they're able to expand the um, EBIT margins. But there's still a risk that they might not be able to sustainably do so. Um, another overhang to the sector that's not necessarily specific to ASPIN is the single exit prices. Um, so this is a regulation by the government in terms of how much uh, price increase or tariffs that pharma companies can actually pose uh, onto their patients or customers. Um, so this is a material risk. And for these reasons, we have a whole rating on the counter. Thank you very much for joining us today.